devastated family members open up about their heartache. As you can imagine, uh, the sudden loss of our little boy has been distressing um, for the family. The child, who cannot be named for cultural reasons, was found dead in a childcare centre minibus last Tuesday. He was strapped into a baby seat two rows behind the driver. He was a three-year-old boy who was deeply connected to his siblings, his peers and older children and uh, he played a big part in a very close-knitted family. Edmonton Centre Manager Michael Lewis and casual employee Dion Grills were granted bail in the Cairns Magistrates Court yesterday, both charged with manslaughter. The court heard the toddler had been forgotten on the short journey between his home and the centre and was left on the bus for hours. For us as a family, this is a, an unprecedented incident. Consequently, it's affected the larger community. But it's not unprecedented. It's happened before. Two years ago, Violet Easton was left on a good start bus on the Gold Coast. She was 14 months old at the time. She survived, but her family took legal action and demanded the company's safety procedures change. In a statement, the company claims it did change its policies and training at the time, ordering drivers to walk through the bus and check for children and mark them when they get on and off the bus. Clearly that did not happen here and now a much-loved little boy is dead. Good Start is now promising yet again to review its policies and procedures. Um, but how can parents trust this organisation to look after its children? Today the company sacked the two charged workers as it escalates a forensic audit of the centre's books following claims it fraudulently claimed childcare subsidies. Marion Farr, ABC News, Cairns.